in this video, we will write an exact expression for the red area on the picture. So, please pause the video and try it yourself. The first thing we're gonna do is to find the radius of the big circle. I write it like a big R. And to do it, we need to use this little guy, the Pythagorean theorem. And I can do it in the picture like this and put the big R on the diagonal and the little r on this side because radius of the small circle is this length and of course from the middle and down here and then it also is this side here. The Pythagorean theorem tells us that if we square the longest side it is equal to the sum of the square of the two smaller sides in a right triangle. So the longest side in our triangle is the big R. So the big R squared equals little r squared plus the little r squared. So the big R squared equals two times r squared. And then we can take the square root of the both sides in the, the equation and get that the big R equals the square root of two times R squared. And it is equal to the square root of two times the square root of R squared equals R. So this. But you don't need this last bit. You can do it with only this row, I think. The area of the big circle. Area of a circle is radius times itself and times pi. So big R squared and times pi. And big R squared equals 2R squared. So the radius of the, uh, the area of the big circle equals 2R squared times pi. And then we have the area of the small circle. It is of course only r squared times pi. And then the area of the red uh, in the picture is of course you take the area of the big circle and minus and the area of the small circle. So we have 2 r squared pi minus r squared pi it equals 1 r squared pi. So only this. And this, my friend, is the answer to the question. This is the area of the red in the picture. Please give it a thumbs up if you like this video. See you in the next one. Bye bye. My name is Jonas, by the way, a Swedish math teacher.